dear ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests, on behalf of the Special Permanent Committee of Environmental Protection of the Hellenic Parliament, I would like to salute today's conference. The Mediterranean Conference on Combating Marine Litter in the Adriatic Microregion is an initiative that involves all of us, not only the countries that belong to the specific microregion, since the ecosystems are interrelated, as we tend to say, and they tend to suffer under the same almost environmental implications. This stands especially true for the marine ecosystems that are more volatile and thus more vulnerable by nature. The Environment Committee of the Parliament has it as its number one priority to combat what is in Greece as well, one of the biggest environmental issues, that is inadequate waste management, including marine litter. During a sitting of a subcommittee of the protection of water courses, which is, as I informed you, a subcommittee of the Environment Committee, we had the chance to discuss the issue of the marine litter that is produced specifically by ships, by the fleet. The discussion led us to the conclusion that it is less than 20% of the total volume of marine litter, the litter that is produced by ships. That is mainly land-based sources that are to be blamed for marine litter and pollution. Illegal brownfields of municipal waste, inappropriate or inexistent filters in industrial installations, polluted rivers that pour water, toxins, and waste in the seas, they create a marine environment <coughs> difficult to live in, reproduce, or simply enjoy. Out of all the sources of marine litter, it is common knowledge by today that it is plastic that is the most dangerous material, leading to hundreds of deaths of fish and mammals each year. As it is highlighted by today's conference, Microplastic is also a subcategory of material that we should be worried and take special action in order to minimize it. We hope that the new European strategy to recycle plastic, among other materials, by 50% by 2020 and by 70% by 2030 will contribute to this combat against plastic. The Environment Committee supports all of the actions and projects that are aiming towards the goal of the devolution of the Mediterranean Sea. The committee has twice hosted the Circle of the Mediterranean Parliamentarians on Sustainable Development, which is a very active parliamentary network, and also many initiatives of the Mediterranean Information Office to which Professor Skoulos is a Secretary General, and also a series of other projects and other NGOs. In this framework, where you are all very welcome to come and present your work to the Environment Committee. Also in this framework, we would like very much to welcome the DEFIS GR project. We do hope that this project will be an integral part of the overall strategy for the protection of the environment within the framework of the macro regions of the Adriatic and the Ionian seas, and that more similar initiatives will follow. More initiatives and work are also necessary in order to achieve related goals of the Horizon 2020 Capacity Building Mediterranean Environment Program and the Marilsco Program. Greece is very much devoted into depolluting the Mediterranean and also into preventing pollution in all kinds of water courses, as the representative of the Secretary General for Water will later explain. However, the Mediterranean will need the assistance and cooperation not only by governments and parliaments, but by all of us, especially by the civil society and the academic, the epistemic community, which were from the very beginning of the history of the protection of the Mediterranean at the lead of this effort. It is also necessary that all the actors contribute to the implementation and enforcement of the related legislation 
both the national legislations and the marine strategy framework directive and all the EU laws and policies to combat marine litter, as well as the regional action plans. There is no need to adapt legislation when we are not really um, decided to implement and enforce this legislation. We would also like to include fishermen as very active members of these efforts. And we would support any project that offers incentives to fishermen to turn themselves into the guards of the seas. As the latest EU policy indicates, in order then to collect marine litter, to collect data for the oceans, and also to create new jobs for themselves and their families, and to create income, both after this uh, guarding, safeguarding of the oceans and of the recycling of the marine litter as one of the projects that you will hear here today will discuss. In addition, I would like to remind to the epistemic community and the civil society something that we tend to forget because it was kept under the bureaucracy of the UN. There is no one unique um, protocol that actually protects the oceans and also offers a common legal base to protect oceans all over the world under the same standards. The UNCLOS Convention, the United Nations Law of the Sea Convention, does not have any specific environmental protocol. And the specific convention um, also, also has just a small part that refers to environmental protection. So back in 2005, there was an effort on behalf of the legal department of the United Nations to adapt such a protocol to the Lost Convention. This effort was abandoned after a while. But I do believe that it would be very helpful to all of us, and especially to the marine environment, if we start speaking again about the adoption of such a protocol that would give to all the countries the uh, possibility to protect marine environment and life under the same standards. In conclusion, if we all stick together, both the Environment Committee of the Greek Parliament and the Circle of the Mediterranean Parliamentarians of the Sustainable Development would be very supportive of the theme of today's conference and of your proposals. And we are very much willing to serve as catalysts that will introduce many of your proposals and today's conclusions into our national policies in order to make things happen. It is time for action, and the actors are us. Thank you very much.